Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle Rant brought to you by Redcon One. Visit redcon1.com. Today's topic, William Bonac or the evolution of William Bonac because it's been very, very interesting watching this guy transform into the bodybuilder he is today. The guy who won the Arnold Classic, who beat Dexter Jackson the Blade and Cedric McMillan this past weekend. Congratulations, first of all, to William Bonac for really arriving. You know, the third place Olympia uh, in 2017 was certainly not a fluke. He has solidified himself as a legitimate uh, title threat. Uh, to win the Arnold Classic USA puts you in an elite group of people that have won that show. The Flex Wheelers, the Kevin Lebronis, the Jake Cutlers, the Nasser El Sambadis. You know, he's arrived, and I think that William Bonac has established himself as the real deal. Now, what's interesting is I remember a couple years back when Bonac first hit the pro scene, and he was competing in the 212 division, and he wasn't doing well. And he decided, you know what, I'm going up to the open division. Everyone thought he was crazy. Because here's a guy who's not the tallest guy on stage. He doesn't have, you know, the, the biggest structure. So I think a lot of people felt that he would just be like a middle-of-the-road, you know, open guy, if anything. And he certainly proved everyone wrong. And you know what? I love to see that when, when people do that. When people you know, have a vision of themselves in their head, they have a, an idea of what they want to become, and they will stop at nothing before they achieve that. And they don't allow the good opinion of others to influence what they do. Okay? And his mission was to be the best bodybuilder he can be. And what he brings to the stage that's so special is consistency. And that puts him in that same group as Dexter Jackson, who's never ever been out of shape a day in his life on stage, as Phil Heath, who's never come to a show out of shape a day in his life, and that Bonac is added to that list. We were used to seeing in the 90s and the early 2000s the Ronnie Coleman's, the Dorian Yates. These were consistent guys too, but they were the mass monsters. They were huge. Nowadays, it seems like the, the slightly smaller guys, round cartoonish muscle bellies with the terrific conditioning are really dominating the pro scene. And Bonac is, is, is probably the freshest guy up there. Now, a lot of people might say, you know, um, you know, where does this guy get the audacity to think that he could win the Mr. Olympia? At, you know, the way he looked when he first started. And I say, cheers. I love guys that prove everyone wrong. I mean, here's a guy who got up into Dexter Jackson's face at the Prague Pro Show about three or four years ago and said, I'm going to beat you on stage one day. And Dexter was kind of laughing. Dexter's like, I won the Mr. Olympia. Who are you talking to? You know, and, I, and, and it seemed ridiculous at the time, but you know what? Guess who beat who at this past Olympia and the Arnold Classic? William Bonac and Dexter Jackson battling it out. How ironic is that, that, that he called out Dexter and, and, you know, he beat Dexter by one place at the Olympia and he just nudged him out here at the Arnold Classic in a very close-knit battle here. Uh, so that's a great vindication for William. And it also is, you know, it's not surprising when you look at the work ethic of this guy. Here's a guy who lives the bodybuilding lifestyle. He trains, he eats, and he sleeps, okay? He doesn't get involved in politics, you know, every once in a while he has a little outburst like his, his run-in with Louis Marco, and, and that's what endears him to the fans because he's, he's so passionate about what he does. He doesn't want anyone talking about him. He believes in himself, and he doesn't want any, anyone, you know, casting any kind of negative vibe on him. Uh, I love that about him. I think that that makes him real. I think he's relatable. I think people can wrap their hands around what he's done. He's like an underdog, like Dexter Jackson. You know, Dexter started as a bantamweight and worked his way up. Bonac also, a, not a big bodybuilder uh, when he first started. And I, I'm sure a lot of his friends probably thought, hey, this guy is just, you know, jerking his chain. He's never going to be at the elite of the elite. And now he certainly is. And a lot of people are saying, hey, can this guy win the Mr. Olympia one day? Can he beat Phil Heath? And I'm here to say, you know what, I think he can. And I'll tell you why. Because number one, he's got that same cartoonish-like muscle that Phil's got, okay? Yeah, Phil's got a slightly bigger, you know, structure than he has. Phil is more muscular maybe than, than Bonac is. But Phil is also getting older. And his physique is not getting better at this point. We saw that in the last Olympia. He has some hernia problems. He's got some abdominal issues uh, on stage. And that's not going to get better, okay? That's going to probably get worse as he gets a little older. Um, right now, he doesn't have any injuries that, that we're aware of, but, you know, this is the age where you start getting those injuries. Bonac is still young. He's still improving. He's getting better every time we see him, so they're coming closer. If, if, if Phil Heath's up here and Bonac is here, they're getting closer to each other as time goes on. Now, I don't know if Bonac could beat him this year, 
but maybe the following year, you know, Bonac will finally catch up to him and pass him. I think it, it's inevitable. Uh, I don't know when it'll happen, uh, but I would not say that it could happen if it was anyone but a, but a William Bonac, because he's so consistent. You take a Cedric. We all know that Cedric, if you ever put it all together, could beat anyone in, in bodybuilding, but he's just not consistent, and he can't do it. And that's why he's not a guy that you want to bet on to do that. You know, Cedric's also not a young man anymore either. He's in his 40s. So Bonac is the perfect, you know, candidate for the surprise dark horse guy who comes in and beats the ass off of everyone who doesn't think that he's dangerous. Uh, he's super dangerous out there. And he's got that freak factor in his muscularity when he hits his shots. When he's standing there, he, he looks good. But when he hits his shots... His body explodes, and those are the dangerous guys on stage. And he, look at that conditioning he brings. He's always in great shape. Uh, what's his trainer? Okay, Neil Hill does a tremendous job with Bonac. He knows his body. Uh, they seem to hit it every single time that they, they go out there. And once again, you know, I think he was a guy that a lot of people just ignored. And really, in reality, he's like a little mini Kai Green, this guy. And he's super dangerous in lineups where guys are a little off. Imagine, let's, let's in picture the video, uh, uh, excuse me, a scenario where we're at the Mr. Olympia 2018, big Rami's off as usual, another guy with consistency issues. Phil is a little off, maybe comes in a little flat. We've seen it happen before, okay? Dexter is Dexter, okay? Always right there too, waiting in the wings. Who else is there? Sean Roden obviously had some issues with, with ulcers. I don't know how good he's gonna be when he gets to the Olympia. Let's say he's a little off like he was last year. Bonac comes in and it becomes a battle between Bonac and, and Dexter for the, for the Olympia title. Imagine that. And I think at this point, Bonac at his best is a little better than Dexter at his best at this point. Uh, he's shown that this past weekend at the Arnold Classic. They were both at their best and, and, and Bonac just edged out Dexter. So there's a scenario very easily where Bonac could win the Olympia. You know, I don't think anyone ever thought that Branch Warren would be second at the Mr. Olympia. Okay, but he came in also, he's another guy, Mr. Consistency. He was his best, you know, everyone else was off a little bit, and he was waiting right there in the wing. So, Bonac is super dangerous. I can't wait to see him up there on that Olympia stage this coming year. I think this is going to be a very exciting Olympia because of what he just accomplished at this Arnold Classic. I think he created some tremendous momentum for himself, and I think that the judges and the fans alike now are taking him very serious. And you guys as competitors out there should take him very serious because he is one dangerous man. All right, Dave Palumbo with another Redcon 1 RX Muscle Rant. Okay. Let's do this.